I've done a lot of big movies. This is a tough one to finish. I'll tell you why it's tough. It's like doing an animated movie as well. You shoot the real movie, and then you, you've got a lot of animation. You're doing character animation all the way to the very, very bitter end. It takes a long time to character animate all the acting performances of all the robots. Uh, this movie, we delve into the acting of the robots. It's just it's far superior than the first movie. So in terms of the, the emotion you can get from these robots, the acting ability from the robots. Oh, that's my cell phone. That's so bad. Is that silly? Is silly? that going to change influence? Silly, silly. I can't talk right now. I can't talk. <laughs> Let me there shut that it, off. That's the official Let me change. shut that off. Sorry. I thought that was going to change into something then. Yes, it could have been. Yeah, it's going to Yeah, it's bigger, but uh, this is what I told the writers when we started. I said, let's pretend we're not doing a third one, and let's. Uh, Make no cliffhangers. Let's make sure this movie holds up on its own. This movie starts off two years uh, right after the first movie. Now Sam is going to college, and he wants a normal life, to grow up like a normal adult, not have an alien stuck in his garage. And uh, unfortunately, that's not how his life goes, and the story unfolds. And what's different about this movie than the last movie is the last movie, it was like, taking place in 10 square miles, you know, around LA, suburbia. Now we go to five different countries. We go halfway around the world. We go to Egypt, Jordan, uh, Shanghai, uh, Paris, um, you know, a bunch of places in America. Well, it, it actually makes it a lot more fun because uh, I'm, I've been, I'm very good about weaseling into places you're just not allowed to shoot. Um, I think we are the very first to ever have uh, beautiful shots of aerial shots of the pyramids. It's never been shot in IMAX, National Geographic's. Uh, um, so we're really like the real first to do it. Um, pyramids look amazing by by the by helicopter, by the way. And um, we were the first to put uh, uh, Petra, which is the monastery, which is the top of Petra in Jordan, uh, on a movie. Um, the first time it was shot was Steven Spielberg shot it. Shot the lower part. Um, uh, for Indiana Jones, uh, the first movie, um, but we, you know, of course, because I wanted, I wanted to, to, to push the limits, and, and King, King Abdullah, and, and, and Prince Ali uh, from Jordan, they helped us. I literally, I think, take 36 helicopter loads to get our stuff up to the very top of the monastery. So it's pretty amazing to shoot uh, around these places that are 4,000 years old. We have today. very few explosions in this movie, by the way. There's okay. a lot of different type of action. Yes, oh, yeah. you see, he's very, uh, it's hard to believe, isn't it? This one, we were doing an IMAX forest fight, and I, you know, I direct very close to the action, and a big rock just came right and just hit me in the forehead. <laughs> Lucky he didn't get me in the eye. Um, but yeah, you're sometimes near him, and... Uh, they don't hurt, but they can be really loud, and you can get debris. Yeah, like close calls. Like uh, I, I normally take the dangerous camera position on some of these action scenes, and I remember we had a helicopter that was supposed to crash, and it was on a free. It was like on a cable, on a crane, way high up, and it was, you know, the cables down here, and. This is a very heavy body of a helicopter coming right at us, and I was right in front of it, and I'm like, huh, I think this is going to come a lot faster than we think. Why don't we back up a few feet? <laughs> Made the decision right before I called action, and uh, yeah, it came really fast and hard at us. Uh -huh. A little scary, but I hung in there. <laughs> um, I have to keep putting them down, but uh, that's how I keep them in line. But Shia is, uh, he, he, he's, got, he's, more, he's, got, he's just growing into his own skin. He, he's, he's turning into a young man now. He's got great charisma. Uh, he really carries the movie in a very strong way. Uh, he's very appealing as an actor. You know, he's funny as well as uh, he's quite good at action. He's quite good at his own stunts. Um, so uh, it's a lot of fun to work with. Well, this one, uh, the relationship has advanced. Um, I can't tell you all the dirty details because that's not fit for PG-13 audiences. But uh, they uh, uh, they are forced to stay apart a bit because uh, he's going back east to college, 
and uh, they are then thrust on this adventure where she joins back up with them uh, to help save them in a certain way, and uh, uh, they're, it's kind of a, a rough, fun ride. They are. They, they're, there is a lot of complex, fun, little guys, mean guys that are this big, uh, to tiny little guys, to guys that are uh, over 100 feet tall. Um, uh, we've got a geriatric old, crotchety old robot. Um, we've got a smooth English guy. We've got, uh, uh, I don't know, we've got some fun robots. Well, uh, it's, he turned to me. Uh, he actually hit me several times during the movie, you know, which was a good thing. Um, and uh, he turned to me, he, he just said, it's awesome. So it's nice to hear. He said to me, he says, you know, normally uh, movies like this will have like one show-stopping scene, you know, and he says this movie has like six of them. So that's nice to hear. Fantastic. So. I think it just it takes it all to a new level, and uh, it's still fun, and it's still got the charm of the first one. So I think it's a, it's, it really delivers a fun movie.